Hi guys, in today's quick video, we're going to take a look at mannequins. Um, basically, what I want to show you is just like another approach you can do in order to start, um, you know, with a nice pose off the bat. Because there might be a case where you would just want to pose right away and, you know, not, not sculpt it first and then pose it afterwards. So what you want to do is hit lightbox or hit comma key. And then you're going to go to mannequin. Under project, you're going to click mannequin. And I'm going to choose this eight head female for now. Okay. There's a bunch of mannequins in here. And these are just, you know, to help you start. Um, I'll show you some of the other ones, but there's, there's a dog in here. And these are all editable. These are all posable. So if you're going to be making a dog, what better way to start than that? You know, if you're going to be making a hand, you know, instead of doing the, the Z spears, you could start with this. Um, there's other animals too in here, elephant. So there's quite, there's quite a few to get you started. Okay. But today we're just going to look at the female. Um, and this is a real quick video. So I'm just going to show you guys uh, how you compose this. As you can see now, um, we're not, we're in edit mode. Um, we're, and there's a rotate button here. So the only thing we can actually do is rotate. Okay. Now, um, press X to turn off the symmetry. What I do is make sure perspective is off. And what I like to do is I like to do, um, you know, something like this. But basically, when you hover over these areas, you can move. You can move it. Uh, if you grab this, it's going to twist that area. So. So you can you can basically do something like this, and then what I'll, I'll use, like I said, what I usually do is I'll use this line as reference to make sure, because in the real world you be, you would be touching the ground, right? So you want to make sure that you're doing that here as well. Um, then you can kind of twist the body. Maybe I'll, I'll I think I'll twist it like right here a little bit, and then just push this up. And we'll put this down. Okay. Then we can kind of put the head down to where we want. Um, and you can put the arms up or down. Maybe push this arm back a little bit, since um, since you know that this uh, this is like a motion pose, I guess that we're going for here. But you could see like how fast like we can get something going on here. You could also change this, you know, so they're not so even. Maybe you know, push this arm back. Um, I can grab right here and just push this on forward a little bit. So it doesn't look so even. See that? See how it's like that? Um, let's see. I'm going to move this back a little bit. All right. So basically, you know, you, you pose this as like so. Maybe widen, widen this out. Widen the legs a little bit. Once you got a pose that you like to start off with and you're happy with it, let's say we like this pose. Next thing we want to do is we're going to go down to adaptive. And what, what adaptive here, um, we're just going to click make adaptive skin. And it'll look like nothing happened, but if you go all the way up, you're going to see there's something that says skin mannequin here. So if I click this skin, now I have 
an object I can actually just sculpt on. Um, we can't edit it anymore, but we can sculpt on it. So, and again, because there's no symmetry anymore, this is basically how traditional sculptors, you know, would sculpt. Um, so they would just start kind of, you know, blocking in different areas and stuff like that. Um, you could do the same. You could even smooth. You can smooth things out as well. To have like a base to work on. Um, let me just undo that. Take, take your intensity down, but you know, smooth out certain areas. That would be smooth. Like you know, this part would be smooth out. This part will definitely be smoothed. Um, this you could smooth a little bit. The hip, you could probably smooth this out a little bit. Okay, so. Could do something like that. Um, and also, then we can start, you know, like I said, sculpting on it, going back over it. Um, maybe use an in flat brush to bump, bump it up a little bit, you know, give it a little bit more weight. Um, could do the same for the arms if we wanted to. Something like that. Then we can start, you know, pushing out the hands a little more. Because right now they're kind of like regular hands. Um, you can go in here and just start to kind of flesh out and head a head a little bit, you know, like the beginnings of a head. You know, however you want to do it. But yeah, this is a great way um, to start out. I smooth, smooth that out like a lot. This is a great way to start. If you want to break that, break the symmetry early on. You know, this is the way that you can kind of do it. And then after a while, you know, you can start to get something that looks decent. I mean, this would take me a while to actually get something that looks good. But I basically just wanted to show you guys the uh, that mannequin and that, you know, it would be really helpful to you guys. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.